Hello everyone! In this video, we will review two of the new and powerful features of Master Study LMS that enhance both video and audio lessons, required video audio progress and time codes. Required video progress or strict mode ensures learners watch or listen to a specific percentage of your lesson before marking it complete. Meanwhile, time codes lead to link any point in your media to text so students can jump straight to the exact moment they need. Let's see how to do it. There are no settings to turn on, just go to Course Editing with Course Builder and create or edit a video lesson. Since I already have a video lesson on my curriculum, I will just edit it. Time codes and strict mode features work on all source types except shortcode and embed source types. They do not function with them as those methods lack direct access to the video and audio player's time data, preventing progress tracking and time jumps. Here you will note the required video progress field. Enter the amount of the video that your students have to watch to mark the lesson is complete. As they watch, a progress indicator displays how much of the video has been viewed, and the complete button remains disabled until the specified watch percentage is met. At this point, I want to mention that because the required video progress feature only controls the lesson's completeness, a student can still access the next lesson via the curriculum or a direct link even if they haven't met the watch percentage. However, if you want to prevent moving to the next lesson without completing this lesson and ensure proper lesson sequencing, you can use the drip content add-on as a solution. First of all, let me save the lesson and I will do it by moving to the drip tab and clicking on the enable add-on. In the add-on settings, I will turn on the first setting and that's it. Here you can see the results. I can neither go to the next lesson nor complete this lesson beforehand. Now let me go back to the course builder and add some time codes to our video. Scroll down to the lesson content and you will find a clear tip message on how to add time codes. Additionally, there is a special preview button that lets you play the video right on the course builder to make the time code taking process easier. The syntax is very simple. Wrap the time step and the text inside of the curly braces. You can mention the time before the text, in the middle of the text, or at the end of the text. Let me quickly implement it. So, I will save the lesson and here is the result. My video is jumping to the exact time that I click on. Moreover, students and instructors can use the time codes to highlight the exact moment of the audio and video lessons in the lesson discussions. The syntax is the same and available only in audio and video lessons. Now it's the time to see these features for audio lessons. I already have an existing audio lesson too. Every setting we saw is the same and applicable to them as well. That's why I will speed up the process and show you just the result. Now here it is. Progress tracking and time jumps are working perfectly. If you find the video useful, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching.